Gemini, welcome into your reading. If you had to have an opportunity or access to your own spirit guides, where they could sit down in front of you or even just communicate with you, this is what they would like to tell you. I am clear audience, so as I do the reading, I am listening to what they are telling me. And then I'm going to share just what they are saying. I'm literally just going to be repeating a lot of what they're saying to me, to you. So let us get started. We are going to be looking into your recent past, your current energy right now, your present energy, and then what is still coming in in your near future. Remember, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you will know, okay? Um, otherwise, check your rising, your moon, and your Venus. If you do want to have a personal reading with me, <coughs> my, is this a smoke? Okay, um, this making me croaky. If you want to have a personal reading with me, <coughs> Please um, contact me via my email. It is below in the description box below. Okay, and um, I usually do pre-recorded videos as well as one-hour video chats where the questions are unlimited. You can just basically ask what ever you're feeling to ask me in that moment. They are wonderful to do. The video chats, I've chatted with so many people from all over the world and the readings are pretty amazing. And you also get a video of that video chat as well after the reading. So let's get into this. Let's have a look and see recent past with you, what has been going on here. Chariot card, so you've got cancer coming into your reading. You have got the Eight of Wands, the Star card, Aquarius has come in there, the six, the six of Swords and the Nine of Swords here. Interesting. So we're going to check the energy under this deck here as well. Um, this is interesting. There's something that you're doing here um, that's causing you a bit of stress. But you're very determined to make this work. I can see that. Um, there's a decision or a choice that you made almost instantaneously here. With the chariot card coming up, I don't know if this is you and another person who decided to move forward with each other, or somebody entered into your life and very, very quickly you just kind of like went with them. You got together with this person. Or it could be a choice or decision that you made here um, to do something. It can be somebody that you know even. Or it can be a dream that you're trying to work on here. Uh, and you're trying to make something happen, basically any which scenario. Um, you're determined to make this work with the chariot card. So you want to get to a place where you are successful. Um, there's definitely a dream that you're working on here. There's a dream, there's a hope, there's a person, something. And um, the Eight of Wands talks about that determination again, together with the chariot card. <clears throat> this could be a decision that you made very, very quickly, or it can also be, it's raining by the way. I just forgot it's raining. If you hear the rain, I hope it's not bothering you and the thunder and lightning, but anyway. Um, with regards to the Eight of Wands coming in here, I see you wanting things to go very quickly. Or why don't you see that success that you're looking for very quickly here? And you're definitely moving towards something that is a dream. This could be a person, a goal, a dream, a desire that you're having. With the star card coming in, we've got Aquarius coming in here. Because it's something that you, you wanted for such a long time. It could be a, the perfect kind of person or a dream that you've been working on for such a long time. You want this. It can even be a relationship. You want this to happen. But... There is a bit of problems there that's causing you to what that you, made you get worried. You're trying. You, things are getting better. Things are improving, but it's still causing you some kind of stress here with the nine of swords coming in here. Six of swords, nine of swords. So it's almost like you. You got this dream. You got a situation that you're trying to fix here or make become reality, and then at the same time, it shows that it's getting better. That you're getting somewhere but maybe not as quick as you want it to be. Or there's still problems that are lingering that is causing you to worry here. This is interesting. So let's have a look and see in your current energy right now, what exactly is going on here? Um, how are things now? <laughs> is it still a problem? Are you getting better? Is it even worse? Is it better? What's going on, Spirit Guides? Can you show me, please? Let's have a look and see. Let me move this a bit up here. Let's have a look and see what is currently going on in my Gemini's energy. Very determined. You know, the chariot card, you must know, it's not an easy card. The chariot card means um, you do have a lot of things you need to work out and figure out as you're going on this journey. But it's a card of success, so it's a card of being able to get there. So let's have a look and see. Ace of Wands, very, very nice. Seven of Voices. Okay, you're very determined. Justice card, you know what's right for you. 
The Two of Cups, this can be a relationship, by the way. And the King of Inspiration, I'm not surprised to see that there. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I see going on here. I still think you have a problem now, currently, in present energy. That you are determined to overcome this problem. You are determined to make something work here. Um, let's start off here with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups this can be a person, it can be a relationship that you're in. Obviously, the Two of Cups means love, it means partnership, it means uh, two people together moving with each other forward, connected to each other romantically. But it can also mean an alignment that you want to have in your life. It's very, very similar sometimes to the, the Chariot card. It talks about your path or something that's aligned in energy with you. Even a dream that you may be having, your life calling. So this can be a relationship, but it can also be what you're working on here. It is meant for you. Yeah, it is meant for you. This person is meant for you, or your dream, what you're trying to do, it is meant for you. <clears throat> Although, okay, there are still reoccurring problems. Got a Six of Swords there, Seven of Swords. So it means like whatever you were stressing about there, the Nine of Swords as well. Whatever you were currently kind of like worrying, trying to make it better, it's still showing up here. It's still kind of going on and on and on and on. Um, what are you going to do about this? I'm asking spirit guides. So what does my Gemini do about this repetitive problem here? You keep pushing on it. You keep pushing it. You don't give up. You become stubborn. You do not give up. You keep pushing this because it's going to push away. You don't let this stop you because this is normal. The repetitive problem that you have is your biggest obstacle to reaching your, your dream, your star. But this is also your biggest gift because it's preparing you for what you want. It's making you become stronger. It's making you become wiser. It's making you reach down deeper inside of you to places that you thought you could never go, to places that you thought didn't exist inside of you, to help you to bring this into reality. That's why the Seven of Swords is there. It is not there to stop you. It is there to make you become the person you need to become to have that start. That's why it's there. Thank you, Spirit. Um, the Ace of Wands, there you go. You will move forward towards this. You are determined. And you've also got the ace, the king of wands. And both of these cards in this deck is called inspiration. So the king of wands to me, it sometimes makes me feel like the magician. That's how the king of wands makes me feel. It's a card of dreams. And there's your star card. It's a card of dreaming big. It's a card of having some kind of goal. It's a card of having wanting to, wanting to go for something and create the world that you want to create. Or create something which can be a relationship, it can be your life, it can be a dream, a goal. At the same time, they're telling you to go for this because the King of Wands cannot get burned here because the King of Wands is made of fire. There is burning himself. How can he burn when he is the fire? And that fire is part of what is inspiring you. Um, you go for this. There's even a passion here. If this is a person, you're very passionate towards this person. And I feel like this person can be very passionate towards you. You literally have got justice on your side because justice is here in your reading. Justice means, again, the very same kind of energy. This is meant for you. Whatever this is, this is meant for you. Justice talks about your karma, your path, what is aligned to you. And this is also Libra's energy as well. So with the scales being in the Libra's energy, it talks about the balance, your path, your life path, your alignment, what's meant to happen. There it is there again, there it is there again, and there it is there again. This is quite a major energy here coming up for you. I really feel like you are going to be able to solve whatever this is and leave this in your past. Don't stop working on it. You're going to figure this out, please. And you are going to, I heard what Spirit Guide said to you. And um, I am telling you, they're letting you know that that's going to come to an end. And you are going to move forward here. You are going to move forward to heights and places I think you don't even know that exists. Okay, and it doesn't mean that now when you solve this problem, there will be no more problems. Oh no, there will be more problems. If you're alive on this earth, <laughs> there are problems, okay. Um, there will be more problems. It's the next level that you need to attain. Every pro problem is like um, 
are leveling up in a video game. Why do you play video games? Why? Do you play video games? I mean, when I was younger, I used to play video games like a kid. And um, I remember every time you won a level, it's like, woohoo, now the next level is even harder than the one you were at before. And that's life. Life is like that. Every time you solve one problem, you're going to face another one. But every time you do so, you're becoming the boss. You're becoming higher up. You're becoming more powerful. You're becoming more stronger so that you can actually get to the life that you're trying to build for yourself. You cannot be the person you are now and get a different result. You have to become somebody else to live a different life because the life that you are currently living, the person that you are now created everything that you see. And if you want to see something different, you have to become another person. How do you become another person? By going through this and solving it. You solved it, you're somebody else. You have to be somebody else to solve that. So become somebody else here, and you're going to see another life coming in. Let's look in your near future. You've got a king and queen of wands. You've got a new beginning coming in with a full card. You've got justice again in your reading. You are, led, you are and it's in the reverse position. You're breaking that. You are breaking that. You've got the king of pentacles. Wow. Financial stability. And the stress that you're worrying about, you will leave it behind. Congratulations. We're going to lift these cards up in a moment. Um, you've got definitely alignment coming in again. If you are in a relationship, this, you and this person are meant for each other. You've got two very bold energies coming in here with the king and queen of wands. And she goes for what she wants. She's not holding back. So I feel like your connection here, yeah, if it is a relationship, it is going to be very good. You're ending a negative karmic cycle between you and this person. And there'll be a new beginning. If this is you trying to do something in your life, try, having an inspiration, having a goal that you're trying to reach here, you are going to go for it. You're going to push a new beginning in here with a full card. It's like you're taking a leap of faith. You're going for what you want, even though you don't know how it's going to unfold. You're just like, you know, I'm going to do this. You've got one life that you remember. You don't have one life. We have many lives. But this is the life that matters because it's the one that you're remembering. And let me tell you something. Live it to the fullest. Turn your life into a work of art. You have a blank piece of page, page here coming in, an opening for you to create a new work of art in your life. Go for it. The justice, the energy that's carrying here, you've got the justice card coming in twice now in your reading. Libra rocking up here again. It's in the reverse position. So it shows here that there could be an ending that takes place here and there's a new beginning coming in. But whatever this is involving, it's changing something in your world. You're going to a place of stability. You're the King of Pentacles, very comfortable. I feel like maybe even a new home might be coming in for you here, or a leveling up of the home that you're living in. You might even move to a, a, a better area than you are in now, or you might buy your own home here, or even open a business with the King of Pentacles. Okay, um, and all the stress, you know, the kind of things that you've been worrying about here, your nine, look how these two cards have come up on, on the ends together here. So your nine of swords is you worrying about something. You now have a ten of swords. This ending is coming in of the worrying. Whatever has been bothering you, yeah, whatever, whatever the seven of swords is with the justice card coming up twice, especially because that one was in the reverse position, it is now being removed. Very in your very near future, this is very, very close um, to you in your energy. And you are moving forward into a much more better place. To see, to see a ten of swords and a full card coming in here with all the alignment that I'm seeing, it's like you are on the right path here. Keep going. The choices and decisions that you are making are the right ones. So keep going. Even though sometimes it may seem like it's not, it is. Okay, so let's see what else the Spirit Guides will show you. There's happiness in your future here with your Sun card coming in here. Um, you've got a growth coming in with your Sun card. You've got happiness coming in. That comes in after this Ten of Swords. It's a beautiful energy. Let's have a look under the deck here. Let's see what advice they want to give you. Your life is not stuck. Okay, you've got a Seven of Swords here and an Eight of Swords there. This is an illusion. Um, the Eight of Swords is an illusion card. It can feel as if you have a blockage in your life. You do not have a blockage in your life. It's a matter of timing. It's a matter of you needing to level up. And it's a matter of you needing to get your energy into another place here. If you ever feel like I'm blocked, I'm stuck, my life is not going the way I want it to go. No, it is not like that. You are not blocked. You are not stuck. Your life is actually unfolding exactly the way it's meant to be. Every single hardship that you are facing, it's like running a marathon. 
you're running that marathon or you're preparing to run that marathon what do you need to do every time if you're going to run a marathon you have to go run do you think it's easy to go run like that that is very hard that's what you're doing and when you are done doing this you will complete that marathon you're going to get a trophy for it that's what's happening here you're working on yourself and the difficulties are not there to break you they they are there to make your life better it's coming in very quickly you are very close to success here please don't stop now you are so close you don't know how close this is to you eight of wands the last card out here is literally telling us everything that was just mentioned in this reading is coming very quickly towards you everything is just speeded up right here everything just speeded up the whole reading just double timed this is very close to you possibly in the new year go for this because we have a full card yes see go for this go for this this is going to work out for you you are going to be letting go of a little bit of worries and stress here and you are going to be having the success coming in you must believe that it's coming in what you believe is what you will receive there we go thank you so much my beautiful gemini if this resonates with you you can follow me if you haven't done so already remember to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos as well check out your playlist over here it will be like one of your Okay, it'll be like one of your uh, other readings that you can go to, whatever calls to your soul, they are timeless. Up there, we have got my new channel, the Pick a Card Reading channel. There should be a new reading out either the time you get this video or like the day after. So go and save that playlist, you can go check out the videos. Otherwise, I'm sending my love to you. I'm wishing you the best for the rest of your day. Bye.